cross and coming up to crime scene marker number 14 and you can see the blood. The person who was stabbed multiple times according to Springdale police crossed the street and he died right there on Morrissey Street. The Walton Art Center expansion will include more production and storage space. This is Black Fork River where my foot is. This is the road. The rain caused the river to rise well above my head. Okay, joining me now is Lionel Jordan, who he will continue to be mayor of the city. How does it feel? Well, you can expect lane closures and construction work. But in about a month, you won't have to drive over an uneven road. You see that right there? That's the propane tank. Neighbors say the fire started there, moved to the house, into the attic, and as you can see, the roof collapsed. If it's late at night, it's not a smart idea to walk alone. But if you walk with somebody else, you're less likely to be a target and attacked. We're here at Cedarville Elementary, and when the tornado sirens went off, about 300 students were taken here to the new safe room that's just right next door. Everyone here is pretty much gone. I think pretty much me and Thomas Wilson, our photographer, are the only people here. And, uh, you know, I just saw the road blocked off in a crime scene unit. And I said, oh goodness, what kind of crime was committed? A murder investigation. Detectives carry bags of evidence out of the house. I just really couldn't believe it would happen. A dead woman found inside. The coroner pulls up to the scene. And I'm sad for whoever that happened to. A 911 call of a reported stabbing around four this afternoon. Detectives with blue gloves take pictures. That creeps me out because other than the occasional uh, sort of nuisance crime. This has been a good neighborhood. It hits close to home for neighbors, too close for comfort. These days anymore, really not a shock, but it, yeah, it's not nice to have it in my own neighborhood. Police canvas the neighborhood and block part of South College Avenue. We have one crime scene that we know of now. There may be a secondary crime scene as well. Uh, that's always a possibility. So you want to make sure that you don't limit your movements. <laughs> Parents are faced with a tough decision whether or not to tell their kids as they play close to a crime scene. Just to protect their innocence because they shouldn't have to worry about something like that. We're at the waste management site in Tawny Town, and as you can see, smoke is billowing out of that building. There are dozens of firefighters still on scene, and earlier today, that building was fully engulfed. When I drove up, the whole thing was on fire. Flames were 10 to 15 feet coming up. A building in flames. We don't know what started it, but it got a lot of damage. The fire consumes a scale house, which is used to weigh trash. No one is injured. This is an old building, but uh, at the same time, it was the building we were using. It's, uh, it's a loss for us. Volunteer firefighters from Tawny Town, Johnson and Wheeler, in the middle of the heat to put out the flames. About 25,000 gallons of water was put on this fire so far. Water and fire destroyed weighing equipment, but the company's business files can be recovered. Most of the records we keep, we, we also keep with the Arkansas Department of Environmental Quality in Central Arkansas, so we feel like we've got backup there. The site does have security cameras, which investigators hope will show what sparked this fire. In the meantime, a temporary scale house is on the way. Wheatley says this building is a total loss, and he's not sure how much of this is going to cost the company. In Tawny Town, Jocelyn Pruna, 5 News. Two down police officers from the first entry team that came in. Still bleeding. It's still bleeding. It's slowing down. Very intense. Very loud. Don't you know who I am? You can't be easily rattled. Bleeding is stopped on both legs. Okay. You have to be focused. It's tactical combat casualty care. The first opportunity that this training has been provided in the state of Arkansas. Good job, good job. Columbine, we found that it, it took too long. Once the law enforcement did their activity first, then they called in for the medical support. If we can get law enforcement in, they secure an area, not the whole building, but just an area, and stop that bleeding, it does. It makes a huge difference. Right leg still bleeding. The clock starts ticking. Talk to your partner. Once that does, it's every red blood cell that's hitting that concrete. 
is life-threatening to the patient. So we have to get those medics in there quicker. And here with the Sound Springs Fire Department, we feel very privileged to be able to host it. They're setting a precedence for the rest of your state to get on board and say, hey, look what they've done because they aren't making that difference.